Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, this morning I'm going to be doing a uh, subscriber request and it is uh, homemade mashed potatoes. Uh, let me say this before I get started. You guys that uh, sent me in requests and stuff since I've had my channel and when I replied back to you in the comment, I was in the comments and stuff, I told you that I would, uh, if it was something that I could do and that I would put you on the list and that I would get to it when I can. I know it's been a while since I did subscribers requests and stuff like that. And then some of them, I'm waiting for a particular time to do them. Like you, the ones of you wanted the um, fried peak, I mean peak feet, the chitlins, and uh, stuff like that. That is something that we eat uh, seasonal for us, like once a year. So over in the fall, that's when I will be doing that, uh, if, unless I see fit to do it earlier. And then um, I'm kind of excited. This is the uh, springtime going. To, I mean, soon will be summertime, and I'm gonna. Uh, I probably take you guys on some field trips, and plus, I will be uh, showing you how I do my peas. And peas is right. The really uh, peas is about the only thing that I really uh, freezes a lot of, because um, now uh, my husband had a garden out there, and he and sometimes it produces quite a few snap beans, but they haven't did it in a while. But snap beans or green beans, whatever you want to call them, that is not something that I freezes. In my mother lifetime, she used to uh, can uh, green beans, and they was delicious that way. But freezing uh, green beans and stuff like that, or snap beans, that's what we always have called them, they, they lose their taste, and I just don't never fool with them. So, okay, let me get on with this here. Um, this uh, recipe. What I'm going to do is uh, tell you uh, what I'm going to do first and then I'm going to go, go off and I'm going to cook the potatoes and then I'm going to come back and take you through the mashing step. And uh, over in this pot, so I got it right, I got about uh, eight medium size, size russet potatoes. But you can, you, you can uh, mash any potato that you like, whatever you prefer or your preference or whatever. But I normally use the out of whole russet potatoes. I just like the way they are. Uh, I just like the taste of them. And I have eight in here and I have them quartered. I'm going to show you how I have it quartered. I just split them, uh, split them down the middle. And then uh, after I peel them and everything. Now I know some people, um, don't peel their potatoes. But maybe I don't do that. I peel my potatoes. Okay, and I want you to see. Can you see the can you put this where they can see the water level level top? Basically, I got them covered in water. How about that? Is that in the better? Mm-hmm. Okay. I got them covered in water. That's about all the water I'm gonna put on this because I'm gonna bring them to a boil and then I'm gonna cut my uh heat down on them and just kind of let them do like a low boil for maybe about 20 or 30 minutes. You're going to be testing the potatoes and see. That's that's what, that's where you tell if they're done. About, I mean, testing them with a fork and if they, you know, all soft and, and fall apart, they're ready. And then all you're going to do is bring them over and drain them and put them, you know, I, I'm going I'm to mash them in the same pot. I'll show you that. But I'm a, I'm a, after I drain them, I'm going to put them back in this pot. And then I'm going uh, to, uh, sometime I, once I take them off the stove and drain them, the stove may have a little of the uh, uh, heat still in there. I, I mean, the burner still may be warm and it'll kind of drop in the little excess water that's in it. But I pull them, but I pull them in a colander to uh, drain them. It don't really make that big a difference. But anyway, you use whatever salt you want to. But I, I don't know why I like to um, put kosher salt on my potatoes. And I got about a teaspoon or so in there. You know, I, you know, guys, I told you about potatoes, like when I was doing the potato salad. I told you to make sure you get that uh, water and stuff soft in there. I think that's the reason I, I like the kosher salt. Seems like it, it's a little saltier than just like regular um, table salt. And just put that in there and uh, 
that's it. Then I'm going to just uh, sit this on the stove and let it come to a boil. And I ain't got to show you to let them come to a boil and everything. And then when they, uh, when it's finished, I got some butter here. I just got maybe about a half a stick. You could use more. And then uh, I got about a half a cup of milk. And I'm going to be using that as once I start mashing the potatoes. And I didn't bring my potato masher over here. But you'll see it when I start to mash the potato, potatoes. And um, and then I'm gonna, you know, mash them up. A long time ago, guys, let me tell you something. What they used to call this? Once they boiled the potatoes and got them ready to mash and all that, that uh, older cooks used to call that cream in the potatoes, cause they would put the, uh, you know, the butter and sometimes cream and. Uh, let me, uh, mashed potatoes, you can buy, fix them kind of any which way you want to. You can put, uh, I have fixed mashed potatoes with garlic, roasted garlic in the uh, oven and mix them, incorporated that in with my mashed potatoes and call that garlic mashed potato. I have put cheese in it and uh, uh, I have tried recipes where I use cream in it instead of milk. I call that, you know, all that is just uh, versatile that you can, you know, uh, uh, do according to your liking. But what I'm, what I'm doing today is just the basic, the basic way you fix mashed potatoes and any extra that you want to do to them, you, you know, that's up to you, to your taste and stuff. And then I'm also put a little black pepper in there. I didn't show you that. But, um, you know, I, I got this milk. May not be using all that milk because you want to get them at the right consistency and stuff. Especially, especially when you want to put a gravy and stuff to it. You don't want to get them too loose. So that's when you be careful with your going in with your mashed potatoes. And I always warm my milk. I always warm my milk a little bit because it's coming out the refrigerator. And I just, you know, I put the butter over in the potatoes while they're still warm. And that, mash, uh, that uh, helps melt that. And I was and make it incorporate into the potatoes better, but I just for some reason or other I find that warming your milk a little bit is all uh, better. Okay, guys, um, that's all I'm gonna say. When you see me back, I will be mashing up the potatoes and showing you the consistency of it and all of that. And um, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and the potatoes has finished cooking. They cook probably about 25 minutes. I don't. I done pulled them up in the colander and let them drain. Pick it on up. I done pulled them over in the collar and let, let them drain. And I'm drained and I'm going to put them back in this pot. And uh, you can just go on right at then while the potatoes are still pretty warm and put your butter. Now, you guys, I told you if you want more butter and stuff in yours, you can. But when I'm fixing a uh, mashed potatoes like as uh, it, it's served with uh, gravy and stuff like that. Uh, I don't like to put a lot of butter in it, but I'm if I'm serving it as um, you know, just uh, uh, like garlic mashed potatoes and stuff like that. That's when I add all the extras. Hold on, just a second, you guys. Okay, and then I just get my potato masher and start mashing. And um, pretty uh, solvent. It's not going to, you know, if you don't cook them right, it's not going to take much to mash them up, you guys. Just as simple as that. And I always get them mashed real good before I uh, start uh, adding any uh, milk and stuff to it. Try to get my butter and stuff well incorporated in there. This is something my daughter loves uh, potatoes. And I always make sure you have your good potato masher. I got this one right here. I do love this. This uh, the ones that's made like this. I have the other kind. They all right, but uh, mm -hmm. I prefer this one. <laughs> this a uh, 
This is considered to be the old fashioned kind. I'm just mashing it real good. Make sure I'm getting all the potatoes mashed up in there, no lumps and stuff like that. And I'm going to taste just a little bit on the side. Mm. See if I need any salt. Mm. I don't believe I do, you guys. Because I'm not sure. I think that was maybe some salty butter. Or the salt that I put in there to boil them. Heat it just right. So I don't need any more salt. Just continue to mash. Let me see what the potatoes looking like now. Now I'm fixing to gradually start adding my milk. And you know originally this was a half a cup of milk. You know I told you. Half a cup of warm milk. I'm going to put that, that amount in there. And mash. Because if you're going to serve this with a gravy... You don't want to get them too loose. You don't want to have them too stiff or too loose. Just right. If you start putting just a certain amount of milk over in there, that's not going to, that may not work. It may end up being too much. Especially when the potatoes start to cool down. Like if I was, when I'm having guests, and if y'all was coming to May May House eating her happy table, <laughs> I would put my uh, mixer to it. I mean, mixer to it. And I do it. And I do that sometimes when we're having it for dinner. According to what kind of mood I'm in. If I don't. If I, I, if I say I don't want a whole lot of cleanup, I let that uh, mixer stay right where it's at. And just mash them just like this. spoon over there over here see how nice and fluffy those potatoes is I'm gonna put just a little more milk over here and uh, uh, -uh I was putting that went out of hand but that's all right too I don't think it's gonna be too much to uh, cream them just a little bit more. As I mash them, stir them with this thing, with this uh, masher. To get it just what I really want it. I'm gonna splash them too. add a little black pepper to it. I want to say a little special shout out to my granddaughters Kimma and Kelsey. Normally they would be down here with me by this time of year after they done got out of school and did whatever they need to do up there and I, and I really miss them girls. Nana miss you but uh, she loves you and y'all stay safe and we'll be FaceTiming each other and we gonna do the most. We gonna be FaceTiming. I'm gonna let you draw me. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna uh, sit still, Kim, so you can draw another picture of me. Y'all should have seen the picture she drew of her grandmother. I was a pretty something in that picture. I'm like, I want you to draw all my pictures. Like I said, I'm not gonna put any um more salt in here. And this is uh really creamed enough. Don't need any more milk or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off and put it in me a bowl and get a thumbnail of it. And then i come back and just, just scoop, out a, scoop you guys up a spoonful just to be doing something. But that's it with the homemade mashed potatoes. That's it all day. And they be delicious. And guys, try it sometime with some um, roasted garlic in the oven. Drizzle with a little uh, olive oil, wrapped in some foil, baked on about, um, I'll say probably about 400 until uh, 
you know, it's done and soft and all that. You guys probably know how to already bake. Uh, can you see these mashed potatoes? Yeah, you got it. You got it? That's all to it, you guys. They're not too stiff and they're not too loose. And that's right for that gravy that I'm going to use them in. So let me go off and do a, a put them in a bowl so my husband get a thumbnail and I'll be right and I'll be back to uh, close out my video with, with you guys. Be right back. Okay, you guys, this is the finished product of the uh, homemade mashed potatoes. I should say old fashioned. I did this the old fashioned way. I didn't add none of the uh, extra that I normally add when I. Um, fix uh, my mashed potatoes because I want you I wanted you guys to have a basic foundation so you can fix your mashed potatoes any way you want to. You know I told you about the little extra you can add. You can add cream instead of milk. You can add the uh, garlic, mashed garlic. You can add, add cheese. Just any way you want to do it guys. But that that's the way that I, you know, this that's the basic way I fix and boil my potatoes and mash my potatoes. And like I said, you can add the um, um, what's that I said? You can use the uh, mixer with a mixer to uh, make it more fluffier, but it's just fine. I haven't had added a mixer. I didn't add the mixer to this, and this is just fine. I'm gonna show you what they look like when I get ready to put them on the plate and serve it with gravy. Cause you guys gonna see these mashed potatoes again, okay? But um. Uh, let me say, I'm going to go ahead on and end this video so it won't uh, be too long. I just want the uh, ones, the uh, uh, my subscribers that I told that I'll be putting up a video for them that uh, I haven't forgot, even though we're going through all this stuff and it kind of slowed me down a minute from where I had planned. But we're going to get it together and we're going to do it and we're going to have a beautiful summer, guys. Remember that. Uh, so, uh listen if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe I would appreciate it and hit and, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a comment um, if you have any questions you want to ask and share out my video guys I would appreciate if you guys do that and make sure you watch the commercials in the video because um, you know that's what that's what help us content providers. That's where we get our revenue from. From and it, and it may seem easy up here what you're doing, but we put a a lot of time, effort, and money in it. But we we and you know we reap the uh we reap the joy of uh, such nice subscribers like I have, and I'm pretty sure others have. I have heard them say that they really have uh nice subscribers, and we fall in love with them. Cause uh, I'm gonna take this little time right here. Gary, I, I I have one that I I uh, communicate with uh, uh, via email, and she is so sweet and got a beautiful family. I pray for her just like I pray for all you guys. And she sent me this beautiful plaque right here. She sent me uh, some love gifts, and uh, I just wanna you'll be seeing it in uh, my videos, but um. I just, I'm not going to call her name because she was saying she didn't really want to shout out. But I just had to say that how much I appreciate that. So, okay, guys, let me show you guys what this uh, these potatoes is going to look like when I put them on my, uh, put them on my uh, plate and uh, make a little well and put my, uh, my good old gravy down in it. It's going to be, it's going to be perfect. And guys, they taste so good. I can eat some just by themselves. So this is my uh, old-fashioned homemade mashed potatoes, guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, stay safe, God bless, and may they love you guys. Bye.